A very brief introduction, friends, to the Observer Research Foundation. We are a public policy think tank that uh, aspires to bring together <coughs> socially committed, concerned intellectuals, professionals, academicians, and also activists on a common platform to debate, discuss issues that concern our nation, our state, and our city. It's not just a debating platform. We also want to be a meaningful platform that builds consensus between civil society, the political establishment, and the governance establishment. <coughs> the Observer Research Foundation is a very well-established uh, public policy think tank in Delhi. It's been in existence for 20 years. We've had uh, a number of activities in Mumbai too. Now, for the first time, uh, <coughs> we we've decided to build it as uh, a properly institutionalized think tank. So you will see uh, a lot of activities <coughs> taking place here and uh, all of you and all your friends and colleagues are most welcome to participate. <coughs> the Observer Research Foundation here in Mumbai will uh, complement the activities of uh, the ORF Delhi, but uh, <coughs> we also will take up six important areas for our activities. <coughs> These are education, public health, inclusive development, urban renewal with a very sp specific focus on renewal of Mumbai, youth development and protection of uh, the priceless cultural artistic heritage of India. <coughs> In all these six areas, ORF will be conducting studies, supporting research, organizing events like this holding public lectures by eminent thinkers and also taking up issues with the central government, state government, city government, the political establishment. <clears throat> because we believe that policy making is too important a matter to be left to politicians alone or to people in government, bureaucrats. If democracy is to be made more vibrant, more effective, people's participation must also reach the portals of policy making. Today there is a disconnect between the common people, and by common people I don't, don't just mean uh, the Aam Admi, but uh, a whole lot of others who feel that they have no reach to places where policies are made, policies are implemented, their voice is not heard. A very large community of professionals, of social activists, of academicians in prestigious institutes, they feel that they can contribute more to solving problems, to making our country stronger. Unfortunately, our democracy has not really developed to a level where we make this participative uh, approach possible. Ours is a small attempt. In doing so, we will be working closely with uh, all the socially committed organizations in uh, 
the country, in the city, in the state. We know and we recognize the fact that uh, Mumbai especially is very, very vibrant with uh, the activities of uh, a wide range of social, cultural, spiritual organizations that are really concerned about the state of affairs, that want to make a difference and who have done enormous amount of work. So we consider all such organizations as our partners. We want to work closely with them and we would like them to make use of us in whatever way they can. <coughs> I believe that Mumbai, which is India's commercial capital, financial capital, is not playing its due role. I have worked in, I worked in Delhi uh, for 14 years and it used to really agonize me, it pain, used to pain me that Mumbai is not really playing a role commensurate with its size, importance in national policy making debate. And therefore, friends, I believe that uh, it is time that <coughs> we enrich, enliven public policy debate in Mumbai. We are not the only platform. We don't claim to be so. As I said, there are many others. But if we work together, we can make our voice stronger. We can make our voice more effective. With this in mind, we have uh, we are slowly trying to build a team. Last fortnight, we organized a brainstorming session on uh, the problems of public transport in Mumbai, the suburban railway, BST, uh, BRTS, the potential of public transport using the sea around us, that will be an important area for our engagement. And there are many other issues. Today we have taken up issue of water, our city was not known to face the problem of water. It was and continues to be, I believe, one of the most well-endowed cities as far as water is concerned. The corporation has done a wonderful job over the years, over the decades in water supply. Unfortunately, like so many other problems that have, that have become more and more more and more uh, of crisis proportions like public transport, like housing, like sanitation, we have allowed even water to reach a level of crisis. ORF Mumbai has decided therefore to take up this issue seriously. This is one of our first activities in this regard. My colleague Dhawal Desai, where is Dhawal? <laughs> you know, Dhawal has done a wonderful job of coordinating this activity and he will be <coughs> presenting, uh, you know, our perspective on the water problem shortly. You know, I will end my remarks by saying that uh, And this is this, my thought will appear at right at the beginning of the presentation that this is a problem for which all of us are responsible. We are not here to blame just one entity, the corporation, the corporators. All of us are responsible and therefore all of us have a duty to, to solve it, to find a solution to overcome the crisis.